also on the area of cosmetics we women like to put a lot of stuff on ourselves but when we are pregnant we probably need to reduce the amount of we, at home we call it gunk that you put on your body <laughs> <laughs> because you're not quite sure how much of it is being absorbed and what the risks are to the baby we don't have studies so we are not sure but the best is less is always better oh poor Ilukimani and what happens to me when I'm pregnant <laughs> no, you don't have to put so much okay, just a little but what about the myths I've heard uh, being perpetuated that pregnant women should not sit under the dryer in a salon that you shouldn't relax your hair because the chemicals affect your baby I mean how much of this is actually true um, okay, when I was pregnant, I relaxed my hair right through. <laughs> I think the idea is to get somebody who does it well. Because even when you're not pregnant, when you're relaxing your hair, it shouldn't touch the scalp, mm -hmm. ideally, right? Mm -hmm. So if, you're, if it's being absorbed through the scalp, that means they're not doing a good job. Some, when people are pregnant, they're intolerant to heat. So you find that when they sit under the dryer, they actually feel a bit dizzy and a bit too hot. It's not unsafe, but you will feel uncomfortable. So some people prefer not to sit under under the dryer. Um, other things, if you wear heels, I don't know what's gonna happen. If you wear heels, you'll probably have an issue with your back later, yeah? Because as the, the, the stomach pops out, your center of gravity gets misaligned and your back curve gets a bit messed up. So when you wear heels, it makes it a bit, more difficult to balance and you could have back problems later. And it's also not safe, you'll probably fall over. You mm -hmm. know, you're, you're so unbalanced, yeah? But apart from that, I would always ask patients, when you hear a story, please ask, verify. 